What's up everyone? A little thing I'm gonna weld on that. This is a good chance for a video. We got what you are looking at here is white oak, and this will be your future future whiskey and bourbon barrels. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. And same with that pile there. And give me one second, I wanna leave my axe out. I want to uh I gotta chop a limb off here. Uh-oh. Chopped the limb off the truck and tossed that. And it's just an old junker axe. I tossed it on the ground. I think it's underneath them logs somewhere. <laughs> uh, whoops. But alright. Um oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. I didn't even have to walk over there. Some some beach. Okay. Alright. What they're looking for. That is not a stave log, that's just one I had to trim something off of. Uh, he come, they want increments of three is what they want. So you could do six, six, nine, six, twelve, six, fifteen, you know, and so on. He says, but what he likes is 25s and 22s. And those are 21 and 24 with their foot of trim. Okay, and your trim because you got to clean, clean butts up, you know what I mean? Things like that, whatever, cut out a defect somewhere. But these are all 25s, except for that one right there. That's a 22. I think that's a 25. Then over here we have a shorter stock. There's a couple 18s. I think there's a 22 and a 25 in the bottom down there. There's a lot of 12s, 9s, 12s and 9s. I didn't go any shorter than 12s and 9s. And they'll take down to 11. He liked down to 10 inch, but he said try to keep it at 11 or better. So these are all like 10 and a half. And they're just the first butt, the premium of the tree, you know what I mean? And, uh, like that one there, it's pretty, it's got a little bit of a little crack in it there. That's why we put our flitch savers and plastic things in. They can cut right through them with the saw. But, uh, and he said if there's a little bit of rot, as long as it's no more than a third of the face, you're okay. So, I mean, there's just a little bit there. And that's what that is, is an old scar from when they timbered this before. And I bet it only goes up about that far. And, uh, but there's pink marks if you're wondering. That was just when I was cutting them to let the uh, guy on the skitter hold them logs out. You know, didn't bring them to the landing. We held all these till the end. And we'll chop them all up. This one here had some wicked stress and just started blowing apart on me. But you take that first three foot off, it'd still be okay. I don't know if he'll use that or not, but we're gonna try to send it and we'll make a full load and see what they buy. Just depends on how hungry they are, but there you have it. This is the last, there's like four or five loads sitting here. There's only one of the whiskey stuff, the barrel stave stave material this was one here but it's not big enough it's only nine inches on the top end now i could chop that back to six six but i just throw it in the blocking pile it's not big enough so they'll really like it but yeah look at see it gets like pink on the end there that's um really nice stuff i hear jess back there i don't see him we can take a quick walk and go look for them. I got a little bit of free time this morning. I'm gonna put some lights on the dozer. It's a little chilly. It's been beautiful here the past couple of days. They're calling for a little bit of rain tonight and then a bunch tomorrow and Saturday, I think. Not a bunch, but more than we've been getting. It's been, I mean, look, it's, it's damn near dusty. It's beautiful. All right. We're back going back to the land clearing job next. Uh, to cut up all the logs we had from all the trees we had bucked off and cut down. So I'm gonna give you guys some advice. People that might not be around this stuff every day, and I mean it's kind of common knowledge, but you'd be surprised there's some people that don't know. Don't ever walk up on a hand cutter or a fella running a machine like as a feller bunch or whatever always stay at least three tree lengths away so every bit of 300 feet like it says on the boom over there because 
You just never know what they got. What kind of situation he's in. What he's got set up and whatnot. So, the yeah, Ace is 300 feet, keep away. I want to get down below him there and show you guys the road. I never did get the, the what's it called, us putting that road back back down there, pulling the bridge. I'm sorry, I'm bouncing the darn camera all over. I'm gonna go over here a little way. Get a logging road down here, I can go down. See, I was in here once already. See, all my roads, even ones, I mean, they're in places it's not even really, you have to. I water bar it. There's a water bar there, and I got one down a little further. What's he cutting there? Bushy maple. All right. Let's see if we can get out here where you can see it. I don't want to get that closer. Uh, you really can't tell. You look down and you see that. We strawed that whole hillside. And then straw it up like 50 feet on this side, and there's water bars, I think, every 30 feet or 25 feet. I can't remember. One of them's right there, if you could tell. But that's not real interesting. This thing's what's real interesting. I can't zoom, zoom in. There, or zoom out. What's he going to tie into next? I'm going to get the hell out of the way right here. There's a locust tree. Oh no. Let's cut the piece of garbage out of the way first. Makes nice little piles for his forwarder. I forgot my magnet today. Hopefully I can get it tomorrow. Probably be the last chance I get to see him for a while. Just swing that right around in front of him. See how he runs it out as he's he uses almost runs it out, pulls it out of the top. Now that was Dodie's why he cut that off. That's going for a fence post material. So I just runs that head right up. We cut another log off. Run that right out of there, just like that. Break some limbs off. Another one. French Post place likes absolutely no rot. You can get away with a lot of sweeping things out of it, but just no rot whatsoever. But alrighty folks. Like a boner in sweatpants. I'm out.
trouble one time. I'm so lit at what that is. It's, at our, it's like a cedar. It's like a cedar family. We cut a bunch down around the house one time about that size. And we actually mowed them in the six by six. It was beautiful. 